Welcome back to another video everyone. Today is actually Valentine's Day which is pretty cool but today also marks five years since I'd made this channel and I posted my first video which is quite difficult to believe because I remember my HD PVR Gaming Edition 2 got delivered at like 6 p.m. I set it up instantly and made that Halo Reach mod video and then got it up on the same night but that's not what you're here for. I might talk about that in another video. You're here for the conspiracy theories. I haven't done one of these in a few months so I just thought now will be a good time to do another one. That being said let's get into it. I think, I don't remember if this one's been in a video before. I have a feeling it has, but maybe it was just a similar theory. What if, when we die, the light at the end of the tunnel is the light to another hospital room? There we are born, and the only reason you come out crying is because you remember everything from your past life, and you're crying at the fact that you died and lost everything. Wouldn't that mean that all of us would remember our past life, even if it's just a little bit? I've seen those videos where children explain their so-called past life, where they talk about events that they never experienced, places they've never been to, people that they never met. Some of them are creepy because they actually kind of seem legit, but others, they might have seen something in a dream or a TV show and they're explaining that and they, you know, mistake it for something that they've seen in real life. But the thing is, there aren't that many kids out there that can remember this past life. So if the reason that we cry when we're born is because we remember everything, surely we'd all remember something, at least one thing. I'm gonna have to pass on this theory, unfortunately. If you want to watch those videos that I was talking about, just go on YouTube and type in kid remembers past life or something and it will come up with a bunch of documentaries and videos and stuff again some of them are freaky but I mean none of them really have any evidence some of them are just like oh I fought in this battle and I was killed on the battlefield like me come on he was probably watching a TV show or he might have been what he might have had a dream about it after watching a TV show I don't know some of them are just incredibly vague does anyone else ever see things in their dreams and later in life see the exact same thing now this one is actually something that's happened to me before it's not happened in recent years it happened a couple times when I was younger but I'm being honest it wasn't anything too crazy or memorable my dreams vary sometimes I'll be in the halo universe fighting the covenant other times I'll just be sitting in a waiting room at my dentist appointment it's those dreams, the more boring ones where this has happened. I'm sure not all of you have experienced this, maybe some of you have, but let me try and explain it. I don't remember the specifics of, you know, when it happened to me, but in my dream I'll be in like a room of some sort. I'll remember the room, I'll remember what it looks like, but I've, you know, I've never been there before. And then a few days or weeks later I'd go somewhere that I'd never been to before and I would see that room that was in my dream a few days or weeks earlier. It's hard to explain, but I swear I'm not bullshitting. If you google it, it'll come up with people, you know, making posts of saying that this this has happened to them too. One of the common answers that I see is, are you sure it's not deja vu? Trust me, if this has ever happened to you, you know it's not deja vu. It's the weirdest feeling ever. After you die, it's believed that you have seven minutes of brain activity left inside you. And in the seven minutes, you experience your entire life over in a kind of dream. Because in a dream, time is stretched. So if this is the case, what if right now you're in that seven minutes? So you're saying that I could have died and currently my brain is replaying my whole life in the seven minutes of activity that it has left. No, I don't buy this one. I mean, they're not saying it's true. It's, they're just saying, what if? But, you know, if I had to pick which one I believe the most out of the one from earlier and this one, I'd probably pick that one about being born again in the hospital. I know dreams are, like, stretched, but, mate, it's been 20 years. I highly doubt I'm in a dream right now. Plus, in dreams, you can't read. And I just read this conspiracy, so. I said this in another video, but it's not a conspiracy theory video if you don't have an asteroid theory. Presidential advisor and NASA consultant Douglas McKinnon has warned that a surprise asteroid strike could potentially destroy several nations or even the entire planet unless world leaders come together and take action to prevent a worldwide catastrophe like this. He argues that so far, only luck has prevented an event like this from occurring and it is not unlikely that our luck will run out. Okay, at first I thought they, that they knew about this asteroid attack and I was gonna say well, it's not a surprise then is it but I think it means if a surprise asteroid strike did happen It could destroy the world, but what are the solutions to that? How do you stop an asteroid from hitting earth if it's coming straight towards us? My guess would be to build massive laser cannons that can target the asteroid and blast them from all that distance away You know what else can you do when an asteroid's heading straight towards you? It's a destroy or be destroyed moment or if you don't destroy it then build something pr to protect earth like a dome but that won't work though, would it? Let's Google it and find out the actual answer. Okay, so deflecting the asteroid by sending something into it and knocking it off course. Yeah, you could do that, that works. 
So would my giant laser cannon. Another method is to capture the asteroid. I'm going to link this page that I'm looking at down below because it's actually insane how they do this. There's a diagram and everything that you can look at. But they make a spacecraft capable of capturing the asteroid and send it off into space to capture it. This is one of those things that makes me think humans have managed to do some really cool and crazy shit in the time that they've existed, haven't they? Still though, I think my giant laser orbital cannons are the solution to the asteroid problem. When we dream, we view an alternate dimension where the dream actually happened. <gasps> so maybe those dreams where I'm fighting the Covenant are actually real. I hope so, because I'm the main character in those dreams. I'm jumping out of pelicans, killing all the fucking Covenant and shit. It's a cool theory, although I don't, I don't believe it personally. Again, mainly because of how fucking weird my dreams can be sometimes. And I'm not talking about the Halo dreams. Some of my dreams involve the most random things, the most random selection of people ever. Meteors and asteroids are sent by aliens to try and attack Earth without being known. Well, if this is true, they're doing an absolutely fucking awful job at doing it because none of them are hitting us. Work on your accuracy. Now, but I like this conspiracy account because he doesn't take it too seriously. Just having fun with it, you know? Soon, an elevator to space could be built, capable of transporting people and equipment directly into space. The colossal elevator will extend from Earth's surface up to an altitude of 22,000 miles. Japan wants to develop a space elevator by 2050. China wants to build one as soon as 2045. Mate, what is this? This has to be a joke. This is a Minecraft tactic. Just keep building up. No, but surely there would be like a lot of problems that come with this. What if space debris hits it? And I'm not sure how much it'd cost to make this, but my guess is billions. So imagine spending billions on this just for some space debris to go straight through it. Now, if you think this is extreme, <laughs> wait till you read the next one. It's a similar conspiracy theory. I'm not sure if it's talking about the same thing, but it does use the same picture in it. Not only would it be entirely possible to build an elevator capable of transporting humans to the moon efficiently, but it would also be surprisingly cheap, only about a billion, according to researchers at the University of Cambridge. Photographer Michio Hoshino, sorry if I said that wrong, took this picture moments before his death in 1966. Part of this actually isn't true. He was a wildlife photographer and he did die after being attacked by a bear, but he didn't take this picture. It was a picture that someone made for a Photoshop competition. Experts have been unable to explain this cloud that was captured hovering over Crete on January 11th, 2018. Now, I'm no expert, but this might just be a cloud. Yes, it's shaped like a UFO, but sometimes clouds are shaped like other things. There's a game that you play, you know, you've seen, you've probably seen it in movies, where they just look up into the sky and try to point out clouds that look like certain things. That's probably what this is. Although I do believe in aliens, so I would like to believe that it's a UFO. Experts have not been able to explain these nuts captured hovering above your dad's forehead. <laughs> well, that's an interesting comment. Not only did the Simpsons predict Trump winning, they even predicted the electoral map and got it right. There's so many Simpsons prediction theories out there, but this one isn't real. I did some intense research, and by that I mean looking in the comment section. So these two pictures that are supposedly from 2000, they're not from 2000, they're from 2015. You can find the video on YouTube, I'll put it on the screen and you can go and look at it if you want. And the map isn't actually completely the same in the first place, but also in this Simpsons episode it had nothing to do with Trump. I think that's going to be it for today. It's always fun to look at these conspiracy theories. Some of them, again, I actually like to believe like, uh, you know, the Bigfoot ones. We haven't had any of them today, but I don't necessarily know if I believe in Bigfoot, but I like to believe, I, I, I want to believe in Bigfoot. UFOs and aliens, I do believe in aliens and stuff. I don't believe in every alien theory. Probably my favorite theory from today is the, uh, the one where, you know, you dream of something and then you see it later in life. That is the creepiest shit ever. And I, that's something that I know has happened before. If it's ever happened to you, let me know down below, because I'm sure it has. Again, I'm not the only one. Obviously, there's enough people to make a conspiracy theory about it. There's people that post about it online so i'm sure some of you watching the video have experienced it as well but yeah that is going to be it for this video i hope you all enjoyed thank you all for watching definitely subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you all in my next video